All right, I've just departed on my five day solar electric canoe camping trip with my dog. All right, just departed. We are on our way to Newboro Lock at about five kilometers per hour. Um, it's later on in the day, about 1.30, because, you know, I drove, got the boat set up. And so the, today's a little bit of a shorter day on the water, still. Uh, eight, eight and a half kilometers to go, so. Just cruising along, uh, slight headwind. <coughs> still 4.6 kilometers per hour. Uh, can't get anything on my solar radio, no channels. We're kind of out in the middle of nowhere here so that's not surprising uh, I was able to get uh, a couple of stations uh, at the lock station that I got set up at but there's nothing here and I noticed there's no cell phone signal either so I'm off grid in terms of uh, no cell phone and no uh, no radio maybe I'll try the radio on AM or on FM yeah. or maybe just enjoy the quiet All right, according to Navionics, I've crossed my first lake. The first lake was called Indian Lake. And now uh, I've got to find a narrow pass. Uh, and I think I see, I do see the red and green. that marks the entrance to the narrow pass and that'll take me into my next lake, which is Clear Lake. Uh, that was easy, Indian Lake was easy. The wind is picking up a bit, but uh, I don't, I don't think uh, any of these lakes will present a problem for this for me today. All right, here it is. There's the uh, dog leg into my narrow channel. So I go through this red and green, and then it looks like I go hard to port, and I see a red day marker on shore. Ahead on the right there, we have Indian Lake Marina. I've never been in there. No, I'm not going in there today. There's a little ferry there going across this little island. It is a narrow channel. It's like a cable ferry. Speed limit 10 kilometers an hour. Well, that's reasonable. One through here. Neighborhood watch, funny, maximum one vehicle. There's the, <coughs> there's the landing there. There's a couple of charter boats, Le Boat charter boats or uh, rental boats coming uh, through that channel behind me. They're big boats, 48 feet or something. Okay, Clear Lake now. Runs long way down that way, but according to Navionics, there's another narrow channel or a cut through a couple of islands over there, and that's where I have to go. I don't see the cut. I think probably where that tree's lower there. That's probably my cut. Well, according to my electronic charts, I'm right on my uh, channel. I can't really see it yet, but it's uh, supposedly there's a channel through those trees. There's the boat.
right, I found my next channel. It's a busy spot. A couple of big trawlers just went through. Pontoon boat coming towards me. Pontoon boat behind me. Uh, I'm small though. I can stick close to the edge. Doesn't matter. Uh, nice channel through here. Really nice. Some jumping rocks over there. This is uh, Canadian Shield here. This uh, this must be tight on the uh, cruise ships. There's there's cruise ships that come through here, not giant cruise ships, but you know, uh, over a hundred feet with, uh, I think. I think they're over a hundred feet. They're they're good size. If you know, um, a uh, deck full of cabins, and then a deck for dining, and and that sort of thing, and then an upper deck. So yeah, triple decker. Uh, probably a deck below the water line for tanks and machinery. They're good sized boats. Yeah, this would be interesting on that. One boat leaving the dock and another one lock and another one entering the lock. That uh, Chris Craft is a big boat, 38 feet, but it's a big 38 feet. Well, here I am, uh, sunrise at uh, Newborough Lock. I just called Sterling Lodge to ask if they do uh, <coughs> breakfast takeout, and they do. And so rather than making something here from my, uh, I've got Quaker oatmeal, uh, the instant Quaker oatmeal, I'm going to walk up there, get some bacon and eggs and hot coffee, and let the solar panel do its job for a while before heading out. Right, so here I am at the Sterling Lodge. Uh, they are bringing me takeout, bacon and eggs with coffee. Very nice spot, I've been here before. All right, there it is, my Sterling Lodge breakfast. Looks very good. I see some Muskoka chairs down there on the lawn. I'm just gonna go down there to eat it rather than going back to the boat, letting it get cold. Uh, excellent service. They brought it right out to me. No problem with the dog being on the uh, deck here. Um, yeah, this place is great. All right, about uh, oh, 9.30 in the morning, uh, we've been letting the uh, motor charge up with the solar panel. <clears throat> so it's back up to 95%. We were down to 74 yesterday when we docked, so we've gotten, uh, it's at 21% back, and that's from morning and evening sun not midday so uh we've done pretty well with the solar uh florida main ship trawler you guys are doing the loop great loop three of these boats in this lock are doing a great loop i see a Flor florida missouri and uh, what's the other one texas registrations so big trawlers cruising the great loop uh one day I guess uh, they look like they're retired, so I guess that's the secret. All right, heading up. Uh, this will be the first lock of the trip momentarily here. This is one of only two or three hydraulic locks on the Rideau. The rest are all still hand-operated. See, lots of turbulence when the lock fills for a little boat like this. That's why I saw it so far back in the lock. All right.
right, so this is the high point, uh, elevation-wise, of the Rideau Canal. This, uh, so the miners and sappers uh, around 1832 had to blast their way through here with dynamite to create the canal. Um, it's full of weeds right now, um, which is causing the torpedo problems because it's just I'm, I'm picking up weeds everywhere and uh, you know like it's deep water it's not like I'm in shallow water picking up weeds it's just I don't know where they all came from they're they're like floating surface weeds really pretty coming up on an old rail bridge the remains of an old rail bridge on the let's see on the starboard side there you can see how it's this rock that's been blasted through with dynamite to create the canal. Oops, I better get over it. It's a Parks Canada barge, I think. We definitely wouldn't have want to fight with him. Neat looking boat. All right, there's the exit from this canal onto the lake. I'll get out onto open water and uh, out past the last boy and clear my prop and then head for Westport. There's another one of those Le Boats. They're like, every fourth boat seems to be a Le Boat rental boat. And another one behind it. All right, this is the uh, biggest lake. Yeah, it's probably the biggest lake I'll do on this trip. This is Big Rito Lake. We're heading to the village of Westport, which is uh, three, just over three nautical miles across this lake. It's perfect weather for it. Uh, I'm traveling at just over three knots, so we should be about an hour out on this lake. Uh, then we'll have lunch there and we're gonna head back Probably all the way back to uh, Chafee's where we started yesterday. Uh, if I've got the battery and the time to do so, I think I will. Um, yep. All right, almost back to our next rest stop. Uh, it feels like uh, crossing um, uh, upper uh, Upper Rideau Lake was so much faster that time. I think it was faster, but maybe just because it's familiar now, it, it felt faster. Uh, it's hot. Um, Going down Newborough Lock. All right, here we go into another narrow channel. Uh, the narrow channels are the most interesting, so especially in a boat that goes at uh, you know six kilometers an hour, five five, well six kilometers an hour. Uh, there, there, uh, there's more to see. Oh, can't film that way because of the sun, but they're they're interesting. I like them. Yeah, I like this 90 degree dog leg up here. It's kind of interesting. Um, 
I'm not, I'm not really looking at charts. I'm just following the boys. Uh, the river changed direction today, so it's uh, uh, greens on the right, reds on the left. That's because this is a, a canal, so it's got a, the high water mark. So the boys go in different directions depending on which side of the high water mark you're on. All right, I just checked uh, my electronic charts. Uh, they've got this auto route feature, which is really nice. It's just amazing. But uh, automatically cal calculates your route for you, and, you know, how long you've got to go and that sort of thing. At any rate, I'm only a mile and a half to my uh, destination. That's a, a nautical mile and a half. So I'm going at just over three knots, so I'll be there in 20, 25 minutes, which is good. Uh, it's been a great day, but uh, we were in the boat by 10, and it's 5 p.m. now, and we just did those two quick stops at uh, uh, Westport and... Uh, Newborough, just to let the dog have a swim and go for a little walk. So, yeah, we'll be uh, 20 more minutes. We'll be to our campsite. Uh, this side on the right here reads Caution Ferry Crossing. So, there's a ferry crossing up there somewhere. Here's one of those new Sea Dew catamarans. Sea Dew sure has changed over the years. Or is it a trimaran? Trimaran, I guess. All right, there we have it. Our final cut through to our campsite for the night, which is good. I've had enough time. Uh, in an open boat. Oh, better watch out for that swimmer there. Uh, 15 foot open boat in the sun for one day. So, yep, just around the corner here. Well, here we are, morning three. Um, normally, when I'm camping, I percolate my coffee, but when I was packing for this trip, I was able to find my percolator, but not the insides of it. So, I'm making cowboy coffee. Just put the coffee right into the pot of boiling water and then pour it into your cup to try and get as few uh, grounds in your coffee as you can. Yeah, cowboy coffee. I've got lots of food in my cooler. I don't know what I thought I was packing for. Uh, pepperettes, peanuts, granola bars, uh, many, many cans. I've got eight packs of oatmeal, four packs of noodles. Outrageous packing, but you know, when you're in a canoe, you can kind of get away with that. All right, there's the boat, ready to go. Day three. Uh, lots of charge on the battery. Just going to head down to Jones Falls today and then back here. These are the wooden pen stocks for the hydroelectric dam at Jones Falls. Wood with uh, barrel hoop construction. The turning basin at Jones Falls Lock Station. This is, that's the first of four locks. There's three more locks below this.
Uh, second from the bottom gate at Jones Falls. Alright, this is the bottom of Jones Falls, 130 year old Hotel Kenny. And ice cream shop and I got myself a grape ice cream uh, day four still cruising uh, had some rain overnight um, have some ominous skies there's a high chance of rain there was at one point a forecast thunderstorms for this morning but that got lifted so we decided to go out and uh, rain we can deal with but uh, kind of pretty skies all right, well that's it. Um, so that was uh, planned five days, but I cut it short a day. So I did four days on the Rideau Lakes because there were thunderstorms uh, forecast on the last day. So let's take a quick look at the boat. Okay, so the boat is a quick canoe electric, 15 feet, six inches, uh, 39 inch beam, uh, weighs about 65 pounds. That's just the hull. Uh, I built it myself out of four millimeter plywood and it's electric, uh, but it's also a canoe. It can be uh, paddled or uh, used uh, electric. Uh, when it's weedy, I paddle it, or when it's shallow. So moving back here, we have a 100 watt solar panel. Now that's bolted to the center thwart, so it can be removed for car topping or portaging. So coming out of the 100 watt panel, we've got the cabling runs aft to my homemade power center. Okay, so the power center contains an MPPT charge, uh, solar charge controller, uh, the lithium iron phosphate battery, and then it's got outlets and a battery switch on the front that's fused. So um, battery monitor there. It's got the 12 volt cigarette lighter uh, outlet and an on off switch and then the 12 volt cigarette lighter got you can see it's plugged in and that runs back to the torpedo and the torpedo is currently charging from that you can see the uh, charging light is on okay so that will charge underway and then the torpedo I've got a Minn Kota tiller extension on it uh, it's a 42 inch tiller extension so I can just sit in the center seat to drive Okay, so that's that's the boat. 100 watt solar panel, paddle, home built power center with lithium iron phosphate battery, Torquedo 1103, 1100 watt electric outboard with a 950 watt hour lithium battery internal. Okay, and just a summary of distances on the Rideau Lakes. On day one, we did nine kilometers. Day two, 27 kilometers. Day 3, 21 kilometers, and the final day, 17 kilometers, uh, all on the electric outboard. All right, that's it. Thanks. Bye.